This is Aisle 42. When we're at the grocery store, most of us find it hard to switch to new products because we don't want to risk the $10 or $20 it usually takes to try a healthier option for the first time. Well, have I got a surprise for you. I chatted with Analia about how her B Corp certified company, Social Nature, gives shoppers 100% cash back when we grab a featured product off the shelf, try it, and give our honest feedback. In this episode, you'll learn why the transition to sustainable products is so hard for consumers and what future-proofing food companies are doing to make that easier. You'll hear some of the nitty gritties of price, trust, and convenience and how they play into our shopping list making. And you'll also learn about how full-size samples make this journey a lot more fun because let's face it, sometimes a paper shot glass or a chunk on a napkin at a sampling station just doesn't cut it. Later in the conversation, we go beyond the free groceries, and you'll hear how food brands truly value consumer reviews, giving us the opportunity to influence future product improvement, innovation on ingredients and packaging. Grocery shopping can be a force for good, and we can make a few bucks while we're doing it. So let's get into it. Here's Analia Krebs from Social Nature. Analia, I've been looking forward to this conversation for a really long time. Everything that you and your team does is really interesting. And in our business, we know that sampling is so important and highlighting good for you products is so important. Uh, But before we get to all of that, I have a warm up question for you. If you were to imagine the perfect grocery store of the future, what would it look like? Oh, well, thanks for having me. Uh, And I love that question as um, I thought about this quite a bit. My perfect grocery store would have a junk aisle, not a natural product aisle, as many grocery stores currently have. And so I could feel confident in going up to any shelf in that store, knowing that the products are better for me, better for my children, better for the environment. And uh, if I you know, wanted to make a choice that was um, a product that didn't meet that criteria, I could go to the junk aisle and look there. But ultimately, if I walk into a grocery store, you know, I have the the trust that what is on the shelf will be better for me and better for the planet. That's my ideal grocery store. I love it. That is fantastic. No one, I've asked this question a lot over the last few months and no one has said, we need a non-organic crap aisle. <laughs> uh, that's that's good. Why don't we just call it the, the Frito-Lay Dorito chocolate bar aisle? Yeah, I mean, when you walk into a conventional grocery store, they often have the natural product aisle. So that's really why I, <laughs> why that even occurred to me is, you know, why have a natural product aisle? And then do you assume that everything else outside of that aisle is maybe not so good for you? I mean, that's essentially what it's signaling. And let's flip that around and uh, have everything in the store be better for you, except for that one junk aisle. I love it. And we'll call it aisle 43. <laughs> So why don't you walk us through what social nature is and why shoppers love it so much. You have over a million users of the social nature app and shopping system. So give us the download. Like, yeah, tell us the story. Great. So social nature was founded about eight years ago. And uh, it was on the tails of my, my previous company, which was also all about helping people discover better for you, greener choices. Uh, So that's been the space that I've, well, the space I'm passionate about uh, for the past 15 years. And social nature is really all about helping the everyday person easily make the switch to better for you, better for the planet products. And in my time promoting good stuff, to people, I've learned that there's three barriers that really get in the way of the everyday person making that conscious choice and making that switch. It's not that people don't want to. Everybody wants to eat healthier, you know, live better, make environmentally friendly choices. The three barriers are price, let's be real, especially with inflation in the last couple of years. Second is just like trust slash education, like really, you know, can I trust this? Is it really better better for you? There's been so much greenwashing that's happened. And especially when you're asked to pay a premium for it, 
you want to trust that it's going to deliver. And then third is convenience. So is it easy to find at a grocery store near me? Or do I need to hunt uh, and go out of the way to, you know, a health food store to find that product? So really, my mission at Social Nature is to reduce those three barriers for as many people as possible. We're a million in today, but we have, uh, you know, we'd love to see that number grow to 10 million uh, or more. And making it so easy for people to make that switch is, is really what drives me every day. So good. And it's it's an app. It's an Android and Apple app that you can download for free in the App Store. And then as a user, right? Is that how that works? You can no. correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> it's actually, so it's a, it's, a, it's a website that you can access on your phone, your desktop, however you would like to access. Uh, we don't currently have an app, but, uh, but it's easy to access. And then every single day we introduce a new Better For You product to our community. So it's free to sign up to Social Nature. You just go to socialnature.com, create a profile, Tell us a little bit about yourself, what you like, what you don't like, what grocery stores you shop at, what days of the week you go grocery shopping. These are the things that we use to match you to products that we think you'll enjoy at stores that you shop at, at times that you shop to make it as convenient and easy for you as possible. And then once you've signed up, you'll be alerted through SMS or email, however you choose to be notified when there is a new product to offer at a grocery store that you shop at. And so our product offers are typically fully free trials of products. So you can walk into a grocery store and get, you know, pick that product up off the shelf, put it into your basket. And then when you check out at the grocery um, register, you'll just uh, either give them a coupon if that's what um, we've given you or get 100% cash back through our new rebate functionality, which just requires you to take a picture of the receipt, upload it to social nature, and within 24 hours, you'll get 100% cash back for that product. So a couple different ways to, to experience social nature, depending on if you're in the US or Canada, but uh, ultimately every day, you could be trying a new better for you product on social nature and uh, and trying it for free in exchange for your honest review. I love it. I just remembered I had made a shortcut on my phone from a browser tab. That's why I think, you know, it was a, it was an app, but you're right. So you just, you know, can make a quick shortcut. I mean, that's right on my home screen. You created your own app. <laughs> I created my own app. Yeah, it goes right it. to your website. And it's, it was actually, it's very seamless. It's a, it's a great process. So shoppers are so used to the the trial, you know, the lovely lady with the hairnet and the plexiglass and the tongs and the paper things and the microscopic portion <laughs> that, you know, in the business, we know that sampling works. Sampling is a great way to introduce a product to a consumer. And I would imagine we can get, get into more of this in a second, but you, a lot of your clients are food brands that are trying to get their product out to the ideal consumer. So when food brands do these sampling programs, they have a very high confidence that a lot of consumers are going to try it. A lot of consumers are going to pick it up at least once and give it a try in their home and in their lifestyle with their family. And hopefully that will help that journey of switching from a less better for you product to a better for you product. What I love about your program is that it actually, it's not disruptive I don't have to stop at the end of the aisle and wait my turn to get my little Petri dish sample. I don't have to do anything other than what I want to do. And what I want to do is go pick up something new and cool. And then you reimburse me for it, which I love. And I have a full version of the product. If it's a marinade, if it's a snack bar, if it's a ingredient or whatever it is, I actually have the full version. And when it comes to trying something new, I have a nine-year-old, so I'm trying new stuff on her all the time. I actually, I need a few times <laughs> to like add it into a meal or to introduce it into a lunch or kind of experiment with it. So I love the fact that your system brings that full version of the product into my home and to let me play with it and try it and show family and ask, tinker and explore it, kind of get used to it being in my, in my lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah, that was very intentional as as I also um, had experienced just having that 
bite that little morsel uh, in a in store demo environment. But uh, it's never enough to really give you give you that full experience. And this also allows you to to sample so many different types of products, things that you can't easily sample at a in store demo. So cleaning products or pet food or uh, beauty products, things that um, yeah are traditionally quite hard to sample. But now you can take that home with you and uh, give that new you know clean beauty product to try or that eco friendly dish detergent a try or or whatnot. So we have it, all the different products that you could imagine at um, a whole food aisle, from baby products to fresh produce to beverages to non alcoholic products. We do it all. <laughs> and it doesn't need to be available at Whole Foods. It can be available at a grocery store that you shop at, which is another way that we try to make it really convenient for people to, to discover those products is by bringing them actually to the grocery store that they regularly do their grocery shopping at and then helping them discover that product on the shelf so that if they enjoy it, it's really easy for them to go back and buy it again. And the profiling you do, that does, maybe that's not the right word. <laughs> that sounds evil. <laughs> the, the onboarding, the, the thank you, the matching process the consumer goes through when first signing up into the system and maybe, in, you know, periodically along the way where you can make sure as the consumer that you're getting notified through SMS products that you're very likely interested in versus a lot of other platforms kind of carpet bomb their users with, oh, now there's like, double stuffed Oreos with, you know, peppermint ganache and, you know, pixie dust. And you're like, well, I don't eat those and I'm not going to buy those. And well, that sounds sound good, actually. And I have a bunch of shopping apps on my phone that kind of get relegated quite quickly to they're, they're irrelevant to my lifestyle and to my family's needs. Whereas when I get a push notification of a product that actually lines up with my values, it lines up with my preferences and with the stores that I go to regularly, because there's nothing worse than getting a, you know, an announcement, a post or something that you're supposed to go off to some far off grocery store, you know, that's not going to happen. So I think that that tailored experience is really, really vital so that consumers get what they want, not what the advertisers need them to see. Absolutely. And there's less waste that way. Many people have signed up to get, you know, these subscription boxes full of different products and they're, they're meant to, you know, help you discover different products, which is great. But when I've purchased those products or those boxes in the past, honestly, maybe three out of the 10 products I'm really enjoying. <laughs> and so that's waste. That's seven out of 10 products that could have maybe gone to someone else that would have enjoyed them. And so the matching is important for the person to, to actually have a good experience. We want them to fall in love with that product, but also just to reduce waste that, that often happens in the sampling industry. Because of the review environment that you have, I see social nature as being a voice of the consumer, which consumers as a, as a general is a very wide sweeping statement, but it's kind of hard to feel like we have a voice in the whole thing, especially in grocery that is just you know, there's big players at the table, there's huge multinational corporations and shareholders kind of running the show. But when we get to give reviews, you know, a star review, one or two sentences of an endorsement, and then the food brands can take those and they can show other retailers, they can show their existing consumer base, they can use that to grow their business. It's a way that you know, sort of the impact shopper, the conscious can shopper shopper can speak to what they want to see more of. And it actually does make a difference. We know that food brands, when they walk into a new grocery store to try to get their product listed, if they can say, hey, 3,000 people gave us a 4.7 star rating and here's 10,000, whatever, like all these reviews, that is what those brands need. And if they started the farmer's market or they started in five local grocery stores, as they get to more and more grocery stores, they need this feedback from consumers to show grocery stores, you're going to make money carrying my product because people out there already want it and are looking for it. Absolutely. And I will tell you that most of the brands that we work with, I mean, there are often thousands upon thousands of reviews that they get for the, for the products that they're running sampling campaigns on. They are reading every single one of those reviews, and we also um, help summarize, you know, some some kind of key trends, both positive and constructive. And if it's constructive, those brands are taking that feedback to their R and D teams and are doing something with it. So, absolutely, 
uh, our community has a voice. They have changed. Often, um, a couple of years ago, for example, some of the some of the brands there was a trend to you know the ingredients being really healthy, but the packaging still needed work. So our community called that out and said, you know, I love the taste, love that they're ethical ingredients, all these things, but it's wrapped in plastic. Do something about it. And the brands went away and they did something about it. And now they're doing compostable packaging or other types of packaging. So I love seeing that connection between the consumer feedback and brands taking action on, on both the good stuff and the constructive feedback. So we really stress the importance of honest reviews because we want both of those things to happen. We want, you know, of course, brands to, to use the reviews to get on the shelf and get the buyer's attention and help sell more products, of course, but also to improve their products. And there's been really helpful feedback on everything from price to packaging, new flavor requests. Um, so you could be influencing, you know, what next flavor this brand comes out with and then see it on the shelf a couple, you know, six months later and then be the first to try that. So that's also the, a, a bit of the uh, sense of community that we're starting to build through social nature is when you participate in these sampling campaigns, you'll be invited as almost an ambassador for future campaigns, you know, based on the feedback that you've given. So brands are reading it, actioning it. And definitely this is one way that consumers can make a difference is to what they want to see on their grocery shelves and have an influence. How often are consumers using the system? Or is it like one or two purchases a week? Is that pretty common? What's the sort of the general vibe? It depends on where you live. <laughs> so uh, we, our community is uh, active across North America. So, um, but we do have kind of hot spots, if you will, in certain provinces and, and states and Right now, the brands that we work with are often looking to support specific retailers with, you know, new product launches that they have and so forth. So it depends where you live, depends where you shop. Our most, most of our campaigns are run at uh, Whole Foods is one of our top retailers. So if you, if you shop there, you'll get um, probably an offer a week. <laughs> Other top retailers have included uh, kind of on the more mainstream uh, side of things, Walmart, because Walmart in the U.S. in particular has actually been bringing on more and more better for you products on their shelves, which has been great. And so Walmart's a popular retailer for us. Sprouts is also um, up there in the top three, I would say, which is a US-based natural specialty retailer. It depends where you shop. Most of our community shops at about three and a half uh, retailers to find, you know, to fill up their, their whole basket. So if you tell us, you know, all the different retailers that you shop at, that's one way of getting notified of more offers. And then it depends on, on your dietary preferences. I will say that we do a lot in the plant-based space. So if you're, you know, you know, even if you're not vegan or vegetarian, you can still enjoy plant-based beverages or, or other types of plant-based products. And so if you tell us that you're interested in trying plant-based products, that'll also help you gain access to more product offers. So it's almost up to you as to how many offers you get, depending on the information that you tell us and, and how broad or narrow those requirements are. Choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. Yes. Yeah. But uh, I will say there are the kind of top three product attributes, if you will, that you can find on our website are first and foremost, certified organic is the, the number one product attribute, followed by GMO free. So free of genetically modified uh, ingredients. And then third is plant-based. So those are, if you're looking for any of those types of products, you'll see a wide variety across all different categories there. And then there's some more niche, you know, gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free types of products on our website as well. And you guys have a connection to the United Nations 17 Goals of Sustainable Development. Can you walk us through a little bit about what that means to your company, to your team, and what are some of the things that you're hoping to see happen in the future with all the work you're doing? Yeah, so this year we were really proud to become a certified B Corporation. And um, you might see that label popping up more and more as there's just, I think there's just over 7,000 companies in the world now that uh, have become a certified B Corp. And what that means is you're committed to using business as a force for good. And so typically you're a business that has either a positive social or environmental impact uh, as really ingrained into your products or services. And so for us, when we look at the United Nations sustainability goals, there's one that really jumps out and it's all about promoting responsible consumption and production. 
And so that's the one that we are really focused on. It's really interesting. If you, if you look at someone's grocery basket over the course of a year, or if you even consider your own shopping habits, there is about 200 products, choices that you'll be making in the course of a year across, again, your cleaning products, beauty, food, beverage, baby, pet, your garage, you know, there's there, any room in your household that you can kind of imagine. There's about 200 different products you'll, that you'll be purchasing. And many people end up purchasing the same products every year. And so when we look at the UN sustainability goal of promoting responsible consumption and production, if we can help people make the switch, even 25% of that basket or 50% of that basket over time, those, those everyday choices do add up. That's, that's you know, what you're ingesting every day. It's what you're putting on your skin. Uh, it's what you're putting down the drain. <laughs> it's what your you know, baby might be licking up or your dog might be licking up on the floor. It's these, you know, very real everyday choices that we make that touch us so deeply in that way. And so that's why that that sustainability goal really jumped out to us as a as an area we where we could really make that everyday impact for the everyday person. And that maps back to our commitment to use business as a force for good and uh, to join that collective of, of businesses that are working towards that. I love it. Yeah, B Corp is a wonderful ecosystem in which to signal to the business community and consumers that you know you're focused on being accountable and having transparency and doing the right things and improving over time. I, one of our agencies is B Corp certified, and we've got our number. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but the goal we're already working towards improving that number, and we're not just sitting on our you know on our hands and going, well, look at us, we, we've got the logo now. It's like no. Nope. That's not good enough. The goal is to always grow. Yes. No, I love that they have that accountability and transparency built into how they profile the companies and that uh, every two-year audit that they do uh, of companies. So you, you've, you've got to raise the bar and you're motivated to raise the bar. I mean, so much of it was about setting you know, impact goals and measurements and, and so forth. But um, yeah, I highly recommend the, the B Corp community and keeping a, an eye out for that as you shop. But, and also, if you're looking for a great company to work for, they have they have lots of, um, there's a directory of B Corp certified companies that you can check out. And I think you guys have like a best place to work thing too, don't you? It's like great place to work certified. Oh, you're certified as a great place to work. And we are another certification. Yeah, no, we were we were proud to receive that one. That was, uh, I mean, that's an, an, based on an anonymous survey that our team fills out every year. And for the last three years, we've we've been recognized as a great place to work in Canada. And uh, that's, yeah, that's really important to me is people and planet is kind of my, my two <laughs> guiding forces in, in business, caring for people and planet. So good. So for those that want to sign up, want to learn more, where do they go and where do they keep tabs on what you and your team are up to? So if you want to try natural products for free, then uh, you should go to socialnature.com, create a free profile and uh, get access to a new natural product every day, if you're lucky. And uh, you can also check us out on all the usual uh, social channels, Instagram, TikTok. We just uh, created an account there last year. We are active on Facebook. What is it now? X? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. The Thunderdome. Um, LinkedIn, you know, all, all, the, all the usual channels. But um, yeah, our... Community manager does a does an awesome job on social. We we try to do weekly contests on there as well. Promote um, you know education as to you know things you can swap in and out the, the better for you swap you can make this week. So they're fun channels to follow and a great way to kind of get a taste of yeah experiencing what we promote, which is you know a healthy sustainable lifestyle. I love it, and I love the SMS notifications. They're so convenient. And uh, everyone should bookmark Social Nature as a website on their uh, on their phone because then you can have your little fake app, your quasi app, you know. And we're all shopping with our phones out anyway. We're hitting QR codes. We're taking pictures of things we want to try later. Ask someone about. Where our membership rewards programs are all on our phones, so we're you know showing the clerk our here's my phone, <laughs> scan it. And so being able to take a quick picture of your receipt. I have a question though. What if the receipt is really really long? <laughs> Like some, some of my receipts are like, you know, a country mile. How do you take a picture of something that's three feet long? 
Yeah. So um, you want to capture the the part of the receipt with the product that um, you want the cash back for. So that's most important. But we also need to capture, um, you know, where where you shop. So kind of take the top part of the receipt that tells us the store, the date, the location, and then capture, you know, as a second picture, the actual uh, product on your receipt. And then you can upload both of those to our platform and it'll piece it together and uh, and recognize it. There's some cool AI machine learning behind the scenes there <laughs> that, uh, uh, for, the, for the techies. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's you just take a couple of photos there and we will also in 2024 be making it even easier for people and uh, and utilizing the, the the wallet functionality on Apple phones to start and then later uh, the Androids, which will be able to notify you, you know, as soon as you get close to one of the grocery stores, it'll kind of pop up just like your boarding pass will pop up as a reminder uh, that you have this product to offer. So we're um, yeah utilizing the phone in a, in a number of different ways. A little ways. geofencing. Yes. I had visions of you telling me that we are going to have to get two people to hold up the receipt and I'd have to use the panoramic <laughs> view on my on my camera and scan a giant panoramic image of my receipt. I'm glad I'm glad that wasn't the solution. Oh, it's it was funny this year for our, for our team Halloween party, we actually had one of our team members dress up as a Whole Foods receipt. <laughs> And it was it was body length receipt that she that she made. So that reminded me of that. <laughs> she won. She won best costume. Yeah, as she should. That's so good. And Aaliyah, thank you for your time. Thank you for everything that you're doing for the planet and for healthy eaters and for shoppers that want to do better. And I appreciate it so much. Thanks for the time. Thank you so much. That's it for this episode. But before you move on with your day, do yourself a favor. Head over to socialnature.com and sign up. It's free and it's awesome. From all of us here at Ethical Food Group, thanks so much for listening and for doing your part by filling your shopping cart with food that's better for you and the planet. I'm Corwin Hebert, and I'll see you in the future.